Yeah, I guess we can start. Okay, I'll just keep on okay. um, What an outstanding environment to be in. What a great game. Um, I'm really proud of our guys. We absolutely competed our hearts out. We've got to give the Jack Rabbits credit. Uh, Scott's done an outstanding job um, with South Dakota State. They've added Dykstra. Uh, they're defending a lot better. Just, a, just an improved team from I guess going on again on last year and, and uh, you know I thought the keys to the game were obviously offensive rebounds. You look at the shooting percentages, uh, very similar. Uh, another key to the game was when we uh, made a run and got called for um, two uh, flagrant and a, and a technical foul. Um, so, you know, just a great environment, great, great um, summit league game to be a part of. Thank you, Coach. We'll now open the questions to the student athletes first, please. Uh, Trey, Tom Davis with Four Way News Sentinel. Um, you were really successful tonight. Uh, why do you think that was? Because you had said before the game that you thought that your team would go small, which they did, but uh, you ended up really making an impact in this game. Um, well, Coach, they double team me whenever I get the ball, so. Coach and players just told me to get a deeper seal, so I tried to work really hard to get seals a couple more feet closer to the basket than I normally would. And they said, don't take your time, just, just make a quick move. So I started doing that and was successful with it, so I just stuck with, stuck with it. Uh, ben, last 24 minutes of the game, you guys defended really, really well. Uh, why do you think the difference between the last 24 minutes and the first 16 minutes? Well, I think we made a few adjustments, and uh, you know, I think we settled down a little bit. Maybe got caught up a little bit in the atmosphere. Um, and, you know, they came out really hot too. You know, we got a few points off turnovers. So, uh, but you know, we settled down a little bit. And just weren't weren't uh, able to get over the hump. Ben, as you look back, uh, you were a kind of a signature recruit to this program four years ago. Uh, first Indiana All Star, I believe. Uh, that signed with them right out of high school, and uh, as you look back at the last four years, what do you take from your four-year career at Fort Wayne? Uh, well, it's gone so fast, you know, um, but uh, it's great to be a part of something that, that you know, got better every year. Um, no regrets here. I'm glad I got to play with these guys, glad I got to play with Coach. Uh, you know, I just, just hope that the program keeps getting better every year, and I think it will. Well, speaking of getting better, you have a, a redshirt sophomore next to you, uh, 21 points and 12 rebounds. Uh, both you and Trey talk about what you see from Brandon and, and, and what his potential is. Well, you know, I think the sky's the limit for Brandon. Uh, he gets to the gym this summer. You know, he, he's easily coming back first team all league and, and beyond. You know, the team's going to go as far as Brandon and, and Trey to take them next year. You know, they're going to be the vocal points. And, uh, no, I'm, I'm eager to watch them next year. Anything to add to that, Trey? Uh, just like Ben said, Gaines, Gaines got a great improvement over the last two years, so it's going to be fun playing with him next year. Brandon, are you ready to kind of step up and be a leader and not you can't rely on Zach and Ben next year? Um, Trey will be there, of course, but uh, um, people are going to look to you for leadership. Do you think your role will change in that regard? Well, yeah, most of my, like you know, my, maybe my vocal role because they would like to like to talk our team like when stuff was going down. We always had to look at Ben and Zach for like to turn stuff around. But I guess me, Trey, and Peck and Park gonna have to do it now. Final question for our student athletes, gentlemen. Thank you. You're free to get back to locker rooms. Continue with follow-up questions for Coach Fife. Coach, you guys have talked many times this year about it. It wasn't a great matchup for you guys against them. You're coming into this environment where it's a home game. Did you guys embrace that, though, a little bit? You know what I mean? It's kind of awesome. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And, you know, I definitely was hoping that uh, South Dakota State felt the pressure. Um, they've beaten us twice, obviously. The crowd was coming in expecting them to beat us again. But i got to give them a lot of credit. They came ready to go. And, um, you know, I... I I guess I give I give our give our team a lot of credit. That's the closest we've come to them. Um, so 
Uh, just, again, uh, great environment, great game, very, very competitive, and, and just two solid basketball teams. Dane, Steve Ward, from Jones and Jeff um, So what was your explanation to the start of... Nice to meet you, Steve. Nice to see you. What, what's your explanation to the start of the game? You've earned two timeouts before the... You know yeah. what? We, we, it's a great question. We, um, <clears throat> I told him before the game, we, we made three, four major adjustments. Basically, what we've done for the first 29 games, 30 games, we're changing. So we made three or four major adjustments. Uh, and two were very difficult adjustments for our guys. And I told them before the game, it's going to take some time. And it did. And I thought we were a little hyper. I mean, Gaines was so excited he couldn't even talk. Um, so I think that was more or less to just to remind them, you know, what we're trying to do, our game plan, and, and just to calm them down and try to keep the crowd out of the game. What were those adjustments? You know what? I'm going to keep that uh, to ourselves because we got to play them again next year. Okay. Uh, well, Coach, uh, you started the small lineup, um, but then Trey ended up being really – um, successful tonight. Uh, did that kind of catch you by surprise that he was be able to be that effective? Absolutely, because Trey really struggled against you know, these guys the first couple, the first two times we played. Um, but I think Trey made a great point. I mean, you know, we, we asked him to get a little bit deeper, so he did. And I thought he did a really good job of creating angles for himself to the basket so they could not double. Maybe they weren't trying to double, but um, they did early in the game. So, um, you know, I thought he just did a really nice job of creating good angles. And our guys did a good job of feeding him and finding him. I thought we missed him probably a few too many times, took some rush shots. Um, but I thought Trey did a great job of getting good seals. Coach, you touched on the environment a little bit. You guys have played at you know, Michigan or Purdue or wherever, Big Ten for arenas. Um, Not well. Separates... Oh. Okay, sure. What well, separates this, though? You know what I mean? That it's in the mid-major setting, conference tournament, packed house. Not How's much. It's not. It's not. There's probably a little bit of a size difference, but you know Ben Bonds has got uh, uh, Callahan in his face. You know Callahan's as big as uh, uh, some Michigan State guards, Purdue guards, Cincinnati guards, uh, Sergeant, same thing. Uh, a veteran, a senior that's seen Bonds for four years. Uh, so you know, from a guard standpoint, you know that's something that really causes us problems. Obviously, is Ben Bonds being guarded by six four, six five, uh, and he saw that all night. And you can see by the way we shot the three-point ball tonight, it wasn't very good. Coach, uh, those adjustments, uh, the last 24 minutes of the game, were, was it a matter of you were just more successful in working those adjustments than you were the first 16 minutes? You know, I, I, I appreciate the compliment from Box, but we just we didn't make adjustments. What, what happened was we started understanding um, well, we started recognizing what we've been working on in practice for three practices. We, rec we recognized, um, you know, certain situations where we needed to make, you know, those those uh, those new adjustments that we that we made. So I thought that was we, we settled down and, and recognized uh, defensively uh, what we were what we were supposed to do. And so that you know we didn't really make adjustments, and then. We made some more shots. I thought we did a good job in the second half of, of uh, making shots. Got it to the glass, got it to the rim. Um, we got tired, they got tired. Uh, and then, you know, we make a run and we get we get stalled by two calls that I just don't agree with, and I'll never agree with them. What was the call on Peck and Paul exactly? Why was he whistled for a technical? Well, John was... Um, walking right towards me and probably said, probably had some foul language, but it wasn't towards um, the referee. And, and let's understand, let, let me make sure I'm clear that these referees are outstanding. Oglesby, Thibodeau, and uh, Borowski are great referees, but I just disagree with the calls. And, and the issue is, is, is we're making a run, and, and you better make sure that uh, you make the right call, you get the call right, and in my opinion, and I'll go to my grave. Trey McCorkle does not ever do anything to intentionally foul anybody. Never, ever will happen. 
and they just, they, I disagree with the call. It's the wrong call at the wrong time, the wrong situation. Not here, shouldn't happen. Final question. Uh, Coach, uh, as you look back on, uh, I know you have three seniors, but you have two that have been with the program for four years. Um, can, is there a way to character or to describe how much Ben Bonds and Zach Blackmire have been with this program? They're just winners. They're, they're unbelievable people and they're winners. And I told them in the locker room, they're, they're always going to win. They're always going to be successful. They're going to go on to live great lives because they're winners and, and people gravitate towards winners. They like winners. It's, they're, they're good people. And, um, you know, it's a pleasure and an honor to, to be able to work with them. And that's really all, to work beside them and coach them every day. They came to work every day. I'd imagine a lot like Sergeant. Uh, just in Moss, just came to work every single day and got better and got our team better and got our program going. Uh, one more, if I may. Um, Coach, I know you're not into moral victories, but your team at halftime could have just rolled over. Uh, the momentum was in their favor, um, but they fought and fought and fought to the bitter end. That has to make you proud when you look at those kids. And they're Very proud. Very proud. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, I think the most talented team uh, won tonight. But, um, you know, I think you, you got two got two groups of kids that, that, are, that are both just fighting and fighting and fighting. And, um, you know, people identify with that. I mean, I'm a fan of South Dakota State. I like watching them play. I love the way they compete. And, um, you know, but back to our guys, just, just unbelievable. I mean, John Peckinpah was outstanding. Best game he's had here. And McCorkle, same thing. And it gets me excited about, uh, about next year. Coach, we appreciate the time. Thank you.